Uh, hi, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing and uh, we want to take a, a few minutes today and show you uh, some of the features uh, on our uh, powered uh, SW52. The, the SW52, uh, we started off with a basic manual model, uh, but we've, we've added some power options. Some people have asked about it and uh, we've tried to make every, keep everything as simple as we could and therefore as inexpensive as we could. So we've got uh, uh, up and down feature. I'm at about 12 inches. I don't know if you can see the scale, but uh, this will raise up to about 42 inches. Just by pulling this brake, I'm gonna kind of stand a little out of the way here and turning a switch down here, then it'll raise up. And I'll, uh, I'll raise this thing all the way up. And a feature that we've added on this is we have a stop limit switch at the top. So I'll hold this and it'll be raising that, that full speed all the way up. And I would suggest you slow down at the top, but we have a limit switch right here that trips so that when it gets to the top, it doesn't bind out your chain. And now it won't do either way because we broke that, um, that connection is I'll just back it down just around here and then it'll it will go back down. Coming down is, uh, has the weight on it. Uh, we only do that in one direction just because of the weight falling down. But when you come down to the bottom on this, you do want to slow down at about an inch and a half and, and really just finish that out. Then we also have, and I'll raise this back up just a little bit, we also have seed control. Instead of pushing, it gets kind of heavy if you're pushing uh, all day long through the cut, is we have uh, switches here. You will walk with it, but there's a switch in here and here. The return, this would be the full speed on the return. And then in the cut, since being an extra wide mill particularly, uh, we have a speed control. That's wide open, but we can slow this down to just a crawl and uh, be able to cut through your logs and, and of course speed it up if you're just cutting through a little bit and get on through it as you need to. But you have the speed control right here uh, in this potentiometer or rheostat and that controls it in the forward. I can actually cut it off here but slow in the forward and then in the, in the return you've got the full speed where you just walk back with it. So we have a control box over here. We have a power switch here that will stop the forward and reverse. The up and down will still continue in that, but that, that stops the forward and reverse to kill that. Of course, always, if you're in the, the operating area, you need to turn the switch off, even remove the switch so nobody could crank anything and, and have this so that it would be off for safety as well. We have a, a 12 volt motor here that runs this belt. We go through uh, this is for the up and down. We go through a couple of chain gear reductions. Very simple, uh, but keeps the price uh, as economical as we can. Uh, on the other side, we have a shaft that comes all the way from here. Here's the end of it with the bearing to the, to the gear motor on the other side. And that's a gear motor that turns this across, it turns these chains down to the wheels. Again, a, a simple way to do it. Uh, but it works really nice. It, it has some good power for pulling through the cut and uh, uh, just, just, just helps out and it just adds a couple of things, some things that I would like if I was uh, sawing, uh, but certainly you can do it with the, in the manual cut, uh, but, but we've offered these options according, according to how you like.